I asked, guess what just arrived? Yes, yes it just did. Picked up some motor oil yesterday. So that I could start it. Um, so yeah, I was just, I just tell you, I was just laying on my couch and stuff, you know, watch some TV. And, you know, waiting for this to arrive. And it's like 12, it's like 12, 12, so I, you know, just checked the, um, online track and it said deliver. I was like, delivered? Usually they ring the doorbell, so I ran outside to the door and I was sitting right there. And I looked and it got delivered at 11.48. So, you know, about 25 minutes ago. Yeah, they said it weighs 27 pounds shipping weight, but 22 pounds motor weight. It's not that bad. I thought it'd be, I don't know, I didn't really know what to think, but it's not that bad of a weight. I like the weight, it's a good weight. So yeah, it's uh, open this up. I don't know if, there you go. Stupid knife. All right. It, it said this. It says this side up right here. So I guess this is the, you know, like the gas tank and junk like that. They were laying it on its side, cause that's where the thing is. I want to know where it is. All right, it's in the front. I don't want to show you guys any of my address or shit like that. That over here. Well, it's really stiff cardboard. All right, so I got the 20-page. Oh, it comes with a couple things. I didn't know it came. 20-page owner manual. Looked up. Oh, I love this paper. I don't know. It's like it's like that waxy paper. To put it over here. I'll put it in my organizer later. And I checked the oil. It says 10W30 is for all season use, and this two bucks at. Ace Hardware. I'm gonna get some pens oil for it, but that's just you know, so I know it runs. <sighs> Had some uh, stuff on it. This is the mount. It actually goes like it's supposed to mount like this, but you guys can say, even if you try mount like this. So I'm gonna have to get some thick plate and make a mount that just this bolts onto or something. This is meant for a uh, mounting plate attaches to engine only one way. I'm not sure which way, probably this way. But I'm gonna have to get some metal, make my own mount, cause that's not gonna fit. Let's see a spark plug tool in here. Damn, that's nice. It came with a. Uh, I didn't know it came with any of this stuff. I know it came with the plate. I didn't even know it came with the bolts. Here's the. Bolts and a keyway. I wonder if that's a spare keyway or is that for the clutch? I think it's for the shaft. Put that over there. Came with the spark plug uh, doodad here and the little pipe thing. That's nice. Later on, I'm going to make a toolbox like sort of that size. Just so I can put all my mini bike parts in it and stuff. And then I have spare parts. And I can have all that stuff. Alright, so they put tons of plastic on it. Before use, add oil. I'm not even sure if it came with oil. Um, from this look, I don't think so. But I bought some just in case. So I'm not sure how I should look this up by the plastic. Now, that's how I know it's gonna rip through the plastic. Um, uh, pick it up by the gas tank. Got a little weight. All right, I can take off this thing. I don't know what this is. Let's see what it is. Quick start guide. Throttle. Adjusting throttle. Switch on. Just. Just the choke. The throttle. Mounting. I'll keep that. Yeah, you, know, you never know. I know all this stuff, but. You know, why not? Just keep it. Probably, I'm probably going to throw it. I'm just going to look through it. I'm going to get this off of here. This thing for my mom's car for the trunk. 
It's like that thing, so people can see what you have in the trunk. Alright. Ooh, I'm keeping these. No. Silica gel. These are good. They take the moisture out of there. You can put them with their, like, wrenches and stuff. It's like... I know why they put them, but some people actually, they're just retards and don't do any of this. Comes with the, the has a little dipstick, you know. I'm not really used to these small, these horizontal shafts, but the, this one, oh, this one has like an option for another dipstick. Actually, I think the 212cc actually has a dipstick, like another dipstick, it's really weird. I bet you it's a little, it got a little on there. I guess the top of the X is where it's full. I'll add oil in a little bit. You know, after I just, and it comes with the on, has a throttle already mounted on it. it has quick disconnect here. See, so it has a nice throttle. It's nice, it's black. Unlike the red ones, they stand out I like it. Nice, off. Probably just leave it on off for now. Just check the gas. Make sure there's no like. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice. They put a filter right there. Yeah, it just fumes. Yeah, I think I put that. In. That's a nice tight seal. Well ventilated area. Using an engine indoors can kill you in minutes, obviously. Like I'm gonna keep the box. Just in case they gotta return it or something. Which I don't even have a receipt. Here's all the um dimensions and junk. Has a uh, E7 TC spark plug, counterclockwise, shaft rotation, all this good stuff the um dimensions of of the that's a shaft mounting base bearing type it's a half a gallon it holds 0.37 of course it holds about a third of a quart this is regular 87 octane i'm gonna put um premium which is like 93 it runs better but I'm just going to start, has 3.5 pounds of torque, 4 pounds of torque at 2,500 RPMs, not bad. 8 to 5, 8.5 to 1. Um, compression ratio, 79 cc, here's the dimensions, 12, it's about a foot um, long, about a foot wide, about a foot tall. And I did all these, I looked up the measurements and stuff. What's that? United States, uh, EP, uh, EPA approved, not bad. Tillers, blowers, vacuums, water pumps, generators, and mini bikes. All right, it'll work. It's a pretty small engine. Well, it would actually be really small if I took off the gas tank, the muffler, and the air filter. Let's look at the air filter. I never looked at it yet. I was going to look at it in the store, but I just never looked at it. I don't know what type it is. And you want to start motors like these on, on grass. You never want to start them on concrete. Or you can start it on a piece of wood. Because I heard that it can crack the block. So I'm just going to start it like in some grass. You don't want to do it in muddy grass. So you don't get mud all over your motor. These are the longest freaking air filter bolts. Aren't so it's like a square sort of. That's gonna be uh pretty easy to find, or you could actually make. Aren't has it? I see it has a jet on the top. The carburetor. You got the choke. Putting these long ass screws. Got the choke. This is run. This is choke. 
And you got your linkage. You got your governor set up and all that. This is a... Uh... Damn, that is... What? They have it set so I can only run at, like, turtle mood. What the fuck? Need a screwdriver. Does it work? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, yes, stupid shit. So they can basically run it like a little bit past turtle mode. I'm just kidding. You, what you want to do is back out the screw with the spring on it. I'm probably going to back out pretty much all the way. I'm just going to see if I can get full throttle. I'll just screw some more. Let's see. This is really stiff, this setup. Not sure why it's really stiff. Maybe it's that top bolt or something has to get adjusted. This is, yeah, really stiff and stuff like that. And then you got your shit over here. Got your idler. You have your idler over there and stuff. That's gonna be fun to and you got your pull cord. I'm not gonna turn it over because it has, it has pretty small in here. I gotta take off this. Whoosh. I thought this was squirt, it's just oil. Now I got all over my hands. Yep, that's probably what that keyway is for. Has all these mounting, I guess, for mounting exhaust. And s yeah, so I'm just gonna look at this. You guys can just look. That's a governor. Hard to see on these little engines. This thing right here, this little thing. I think that's that's for your uh, throttle, like on a mini bike. I don't know. I'm probably gonna make something up there. You're gonna have to basically take off the throttle or something like that. People actually use these and they put like return springs and they loosen that bolt up and stuff like that. Cause this thing is really stiff. I'm sure, I, I wonder if, if I can loosen that top bolt. I bet you I can make it, you know, a little smoother. Try and put it in the stuff. Has you know a Chinese carver on it has um people these it's basically a um Honda clone engine. That's what a lot of people said it is. Don't know what that black line is running across. Air filter doesn't really mount on good. I don't know. Then you have your spark plug. I heard these things are pain in the ass access. And yes, and yes they are. So I'm gonna have to take off the muffler to access the spark plug. To even change the spark plug. And that's four screws. So basically, to do anything else, maybe you usually have to take something off. Like I heard, you have to take off the gas tank. Really didn't make a throttle. Just get a little wrench on there. Just see what that wrench, you know. See if this will work. I don't think this will work. I think it's too big. Yeah, so, based on my video, I could find my other wrench. Had one up there. This will work. So I'm just gonna... Oh, this stupid ass shit. Basically gonna loosen... I'm gonna try to figure out how to loosen um this up. I'm gonna get a wrench. It's a pain in the ass adjustable. That's my video, guys. And I'm just gonna. Here, I'll just place it in here to show you guys what it looks like. Or what it will look like. I'll just put this block. It's about where. It... Yeah. Pick it up. I'm not really sure. I should pick it up. This is where it feels good. Really should use two hands. 
Eh, oh wait. It's not going that way. It's not a shaft drive. And I'll center it all up because probably move it over there. Put the clutch on. It's a pretty long shaft. Might have to come over this way just a little. Because I don't want my chain scraping up my leg. So that's probably where it might it's gonna be a little bit lower. And I could actually fit a 212 Harbor Freight motor up in there. So that's what it'll look like. And you got your all your adjustments here. And yeah, it's gonna be fun setting up all the brakes and I actually got them. It's gonna be offset this way for the shaft and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go figure out how to loosen that throttle up. Add oil, put a little gas in her, run her. You know, make sure she works before I just do all this stuff. And yeah. Oh, and I was doing my welding up my handlebars, and I ran out of wire. I only need to do two more little welds. So yeah, see you guys later. It's my unboxing. See ya.